What's going on guys? Greggles TV. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for the OnePlus 3. First thing you want to do is swipe down from the top and go into settings and then go into gestures. And with gestures, you can do some cool stuff. So first of all, you want to turn this on because if it's off, it's going to look like that. And then you just turn it on. So you have double tap to wake, meaning if your screen is off and you double tap it, it'll automatically turn on. So you can do some other cool things in here as well as if the screen is off, you can draw an O to open the camera, a V to toggle the flashlight. And with music control, you can uh, draw two lines down with two fingers to play or pause. Uh, you can draw an arrow to change the track or another arrow to the right to go to the next track. So pretty cool. Those are gestures. And just to show you a couple of these, I'll toggle the flashlight on. So screens off. I'm going to draw a V and you can see it turns the flashlight on. And then draw another V and it turns it off. Then let's go back to settings again and go to the alert slider. And in the alert slider, they're talking about this right here. This is the alert slider. So if you go into priority settings, you can make it disable or enable different things. So you can make it uh, enable sound for alarms or your media or reminders, events. So anything that's set to uh, priority which is the middle one, you get three toggles at the bottom, which is all notifications will be on. Priority notifications is the middle one, and then the top one is completely silent. So in priority settings, you have uh, alarms are still on, media is, tur is turned on. You can also have some of these other things turned on as well if you set it to priority in order to get those notifications. And then silent settings, again, you can have certain things still be on, like I still have my alarms and I also have my media for music, video and games still on, even though everything else is silent. Next, let's go into storage in USB. So just tap that. And then if you click these three dots in the top right, you can enable OTG. Now, if you enable that, what that's going to allow you to do is plug in a OTG device, meaning like a uh, USB-C OTG device so that you can plug in additional storage like USB drives and micro SD cards and things like that. Next up, if you go back to settings again, you can go into customization and you can do some cool things here. You can turn your menu systems into either dark mode or white mode. And I like the darker, it's just a little easier to, on the eyes. Uh, you can also change the accent color. So right now they are this uh, greenish. Uh, color. So if you click on this, you can change it to any one of these colors. I'll choose a red, hit OK, and then it changes all these colors you can see right here and the, and the text uh, to red. So very, very cool. Or if you don't like any of these colors, you can just change it back to the default color. LED notifications, you can change the notification colors for any of these, so if your battery's low, it'll default to red, but if you wanna maybe make it purple, it'll now be purple, or you can change it back to default. So that's very cool, you can change all of these to any color that you want, pretty much. Status bar, if you click on that, you can hide different things at the top here. So if you don't wanna see, so you can see at the top, you can see Bluetooth up there, but if you don't wanna see Bluetooth anymore, I can just click this and it'll still work, but it's just not gonna show in those tray of icons at the top there. Let's go back to settings once more and go to buttons now. Now in buttons, you can do a couple things. So I have my back button and my recent app buttons next to my home button to the left and to the right. I can also make them on the screen themselves like most Android phones, so I turn it on and now I can use my recent apps button right here or my home button or my back button. And then I can also swap the button. So right now I have my back button on the bottom right and my recent app button on the left. I can switch them so that my recent apps button will be on the right now. You'll see, there you go. And my back button's on the left. Backlight, you can turn the backlight on for capacitive keys. You can see, I don't know if you can see right there, there's two little dots. I'm gonna keep them off though, I don't really need it. Um, also, you have other things in here. So on the home button, you can customize it to do certain things. So on a long press of the home button, I can launch my search assistant. So you can see it launches my search assistant. Or I can click on there and I can make it do different things. I can make it turn off the screen, do recent apps, voice search, 
open last used app, open shelf, so you can customize it any way you want. You can also do that when you double tap the home button. If you, I right now I have it to open my camera, so I'll double tap it just to show you. It opens up my camera automatically, or you can change it again to one of these actions. You can also do it with the recents button and the back button as well. So if you wanted to do certain actions just like you did with the camera, you can do that as well. You could make a long press of the recent apps button, open up your camera, or do one of these other actions as well. And again, you can also do that with the back button as well. Next, let's go to security and fingerprint. And here, one of the coolest things that you can do that I think is smart lock. So if you go in here, you can do a couple of really cool things. You can uh, do trusted devices. Now with trusted devices, you can have your phone always be unlocked with a Bluetooth device. So anytime my watch is attached to my phone or anytime it's attached to my car, my phone's always unlocked. I don't have to put my code or my fingerprint on. You can also do trusted places, so you can use your home address or your work address or somewhere. If you don't want your phone to always be locked when you're at those places, it will always stay unlocked. Really cool, very functional. Next, let's go into battery. And in battery, you can see that little battery icon in the very top right. If you click that, you can do some cool things with your battery percentage at the top there. I can make it look like a bar. I can make it look like a circle battery percentage, which I like the best, or I can completely hide it. So if you were looking to enable the battery percentage on your phone, that's how you do it. Next, let's go into display settings. So one of the coolest things on this phone for display settings is ambient display, meaning you can wake the screen when you receive notifications. So I'll turn it off and then turn it on just to show you that's how you turn it on. So with ambient display, if you get a notification, your phone will light up, it'll be in black and white. And you can also do proximity wake, meaning we can wake your device by waving your hand over the display. So what I'll do is my phone screens off, I'm gonna wave it over the camera, and it turns that on, so that's very cool. And again, it'll also give you notifications. See, it turned off, and then you see notifications as well. So definitely turn that on, very cool feature. Let's go back to the home screen, swipe down from the bottom so that we can see all these icons right here. Now you can do some cool things in here as well. If you wanna rearrange these icons, all you do is hit that little pencil in the top right, and you can drag these in any location that you want, how you like it. And all you do is when you're done, hit that little button in the top right, and it's set now, just the way you like it. You can also, I don't know if you know this, you can switch accounts. So if you have a little kid using your phone or somebody you don't really trust, you can hit this little blue guy in the top right here and you can switch these accounts. You can use a guest account. So if I click the guest account, it's gonna switch to guest. So being in guest mode is like you just got the phone and there's no apps on there except for the ones that came with the phone. So I'll show you none of the apps that I installed are on here. So it's a very cool way to give this to a kid or someone you don't trust, like I said, uh, or someone you know that you just wanna have a quick look at the internet and not get into your personal files. And then to go back to your own account, just swipe down from the top, hit that little guy on the top right, and choose your account. Let's go into the recent apps. So if you bring up your recent apps, you can do some cool things here. Just swipe down so you get to the very bottom here. If you click this little gear icon, you can go in here. So when you're in here, you can go click on any of these apps and you can disable it, force stop it, cool stuff like that without having to go through the settings. Also in the recent apps, if you click that little button in the middle, what that's gonna do is it's gonna clear all the background processes, turning everything off that's running and making it like just a clean slate. Another cool thing you can do is if you see on these apps, there's little locks on here. If I don't want to close this app when I hit the close all button or swipe it away, I can just hit that lock and you can see it's now locked. So I can't swipe it away and close it, but I can on these other apps. So if I hit this to remove all the apps, close all the apps, it keeps that app open. And if I wanna close the app, all I have to do is click that lock again and it will go away. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tips and tricks video for the OnePlus 3. If you have any tips and tricks that I didn't mention, please mention them down below. Sharing is caring. Thanks for watching. I put a new video out every single day, so make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you guys down the road. Peace.